Hi everyone, it's Lindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another what sold on eBay video. Today we're talking about the sales for the week of October 25th through October 31st, 2019. We're going to go over gross sales. We're also going to go over anything else I might have learned for the week, as well as look at individual items that sold. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's head on over to my computer and take a look at the week of October 25th through October 31st. Let's go. All right, so here we are in the performance tab of my eBay account. The gross sales for the week topped out at $1,339.43. That is up 67.7% over the last week, which means sales are up and hopefully the eBay glitches that we've experienced over the last couple of weeks are a thing of the past. Hopefully everything is all fixed. Of course, we won't know that for sure, but for now, I have noticed that my sales have kind of resumed back to where I kind of look for them to be, so I'm very grateful for that. Uh, my ASP was also up again over this week. Uh, my ASP is typically around $15 to $18. That's what I kind of shoot for to know if I'm on track for my own personal sales goals. And this last week, my ASP was $18.86. So definitely right on track on the high side. Uh, very happy to see that. I did have some issues that I had to deal with this last week, and so I was going to talk to you about that more in detail. Uh, I had some issues with a Vero complaint, and I had to reach out and talk to eBay and uh, try to get it resolved um, because it, it wasn't something that could have been prevented. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about all of that in detail. But first, I wanted to go over some of the items that sold over this last week. Okay, so this is a lot of two OP Rapid Dry Nail Polish Spray. So these were actually in a lot that you guys are going to see that came from Wholesale Ninjas. I haven't shown that video just yet, but that video is coming out, so look for that unboxing. So this here, so this was a lot of two bottles, but you can see here that I had three total lots and all three sold at $16.04 per set, and they sold within one day of being listed. All three sets sold to three different buyers within one day of listing. They sold lightning speed. And after shipping, fees, and cost of goods, total profit on each sale was $7.64. This next item is an Ava NYC mini straightening brush. So it came in its own little compact carry case and it was brand new. Uh, it's just this little hairbrush that's for straightening your hair on the go. I want to say that this item in particular was the carry case was about 10 inches long and about seven or eight inches wide. So it was very, very small, truly compact. Uh, it sold for $19.84. It was small enough to go first class, which was awesome. That means that the shipping label didn't cost very much. And it sold within about three days of having been listed. So that was really nice. And after shipping fees and cost of goods, total profit on this sale was $10.85. This is a Chi Tech 1875 series limited edition, <laughs> limited edition hair dryer, and it was in shade ruby red, sold for $48.34. You could see here that I have two, but only one has sold. I still have the other to sell. Uh, so it sold and it shipped at three pounds. I did save a little bit of money using Pirate Ship. And after shipping, fees, and cost of goods, total profit on the sale was $32.13. Also by Chi, this was a hair spin and curl ceramic rotating curling device. So I had three of them. All three were open box. And there was, I, to, I took a $44 offer on one, a $45 offer on another, and then the third sold for full price, $49.29. All three sold within two days of listing it, sold lightning speed. And the profits varied, of course, depending on uh, which one it was, whether it was full price or it sold at $44. 
Uh, but overall, profits averaged out at $31.96 for each one that sold. And I had three that sold. So that was awesome profits, $31.96 average across the three. In case you didn't notice, there is a trend. <laughs> so you can see here, this is a Panasonic Nano hair dryer. It sold for $56.89. If you guys remember, I did a live stream, not this last Monday, but the Monday before where I talked about just getting stuff done, even if you didn't feel like it. And all of these hair products were in a box. I told a story about how there was a box of a whole bunch of hair stylers and I ended up stubbing my toe on it and I was really super pissed off because I hurt myself because this box was sitting there for so long. I just finally said, oh, I'm just going to list everything. And then all of these items sold out of it. So it was kind of funny. It's like I stubbed my toe and it was just like, it took some pain to get me to put forth the effort into listing all of these hairstylers. And I mean, you guys can see they all sold for good money. So, you know, why in the hell did it take me so long to list it? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. But this hair dryer in particular sold for $56.89, sold within two days. It was open box, but everything was completely intact. And after shipping fees and cost of goods, total profit on this sale was $39.23. All right, so this item shocked me. This item shocked me good. It's an Aquist, I believe that's how you say it, Aquist Original Lightweight Drying hair towel. So I saw this and I'm like, it's a hair towel. Like, can't you buy these for $3 at Walmart? And it, it didn't even, I, I didn't even give it a second look. I just threw it in a lot and I was like, oh, I'll just have Autumn draft this for me. Big deal. You know, it's just a hair towel. I'll probably get, you know, seven or eight dollars for it. Big whoop. I'll just get it listed really quick. Well, when she gave me all of the drafts and I saw she had this priced at almost $20, I was like, girl, what you thinking? $20 for a hair towel? And she was like, hey, I looked at the comps and that's what the prices were. And she was right. She was completely correct. I went and I looked at comps and all of the comps were right around this price. And so I kept it there kept it listed and within about three days it sold for $18.89. A hair towel sold for $18.89. I still can't get over it but you know what I'll take it because after shipping fees and cost of goods my total profit on the sale was $11.82. This next item was super similar. It's a flamingo body lotion. It sent white willow bark and papaya fruit. So this lotion, I actually had two bottles. Uh, one of them was completely full and the other one had leaked, unfortunately. It was in a baggie. There was a lot of leakage around it and I could smell the lotion through the bag and it smelled so good. I was like, uh, uh, I'm just going to keep it. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it for me because it smelled so good. And I put it at my computer desk where I list and I am like always rubbing this lotion on because it smells fantastic. I really wish though that that second bottle wasn't leaking because I was so surprised to see that the comps were this high for one single 10 ounce bottle of lotion. 10 ounces. That's a really, I mean, it's not tiny, but it's a smaller uh, bottle of lotion. So sold for $19.84. Not only did it sell for just under $20, but it sold within an hour. An hour. Is this thing on? An hour of listing it, this lotion sold. Talk about blowing my mind. I really wished that the, that the second one hadn't have leaked because man, that was awesome. Uh, so after shipping fees and cost of goods, Total profit on that sale was $10.95. Have I shown you guys Crest whitening strips before? I can't recall, um, but just in case, I'm going to talk about it again because Crest whitening strips are 
super fast sellers. This box of 24 strips sold within a day and it sold for $29.34. What else is really awesome about this is that these boxes are super duper lightweight. This box shipped for four ounces. The label was under $3. It's awesome, which means the less you pay to ship it, the more profits you're going to get in your pocket. So after shipping, fees, and cost of goods, total profit on this sale was $21.13. This is a set of Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and, uh, Curl and Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. Product review ratings are so good on this. All five stars. Every single review is a five star. And the set sold for $23.64 and it sold within two days of listing it lightning speed. Now, because of the bottles, they are 13 ounce bottles. And so when you put them together, they are well over a pound. So I ended up fitting these in just a small box and it just slid right into a regular flat rate envelope. So it shipped for $6.75. After shipping fees and cost of goods, total profit on this sale was $11.34. All right, so now let's have a little story time about this Vero strike that I got on my account. So unfortunately, I don't have the original listing for us to look at because they took it down. So this is the best that I could do so that we could actually see the item. I know that the picture is really super small, but it is there. So, all right, here's the story. So I sold not one, but two of these Chi Original Pro one inch ceramic flat irons. Um, I sold two, both for $49.88 a piece. And they sold within about a day or two and I never got any complaints, never had anything bad happen. I just moved on with my life. Well, then last Friday, I had received a notice from eBay stating that my listing was removed due to, get this, counterfeit. It was a Vero strike in my account because of a counterfeit claim from the brand. So I immediately called eBay and I am fortunate, fortunate enough to have um, concierge customer service. That's one of the perks that you get when you attend eBay Open is you have a concierge rep. Uh, so I was able to talk to a concierge rep about the problem. They immediately transferred me to policy enforcement to talk to someone in the Vero department. And what I had found out was that the brand itself, Chi, the brand, filed a complaint on me stating that I was selling a counterfeit item because I was not an authorized seller, which, you know, sounds eerily similar to what happens to people on Amazon. But here's the funny thing. So I had already sold these items a week before the listings were removed. And I have, look here, two other items that were the same brand that were not flagged. I sold them. I was never flagged for them. But this one I got flagged for. So I talked to uh, I talked to the gentleman in the Vero department and he informed me that if they get a complaint from the brand, they have to remove the listing. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They have to protect themselves from lawsuits. And so it's up to me to reach out to the brand to try to rectify the situation and get the strike off of my account. So lucky enough for me, my concierge rep was able to give me the contact information uh, so that I could email them and see about having the strike removed. And so... I have done that. I just basically emailed them with a copy of my liquidation invoice because I did get this from a reputable business that does have a license to sell Chi products. Uh, so I reached out and basically it's just a waiting game now. I just have to sit around and wait for the brand to respond to me. And if they don't respond to me within a week, uh, the eBay rep told me that I should call them back and let them know that I can't get a response. Uh, so that they can see what they can do about having the strike on my account. But here is the issue and why this could not have been prevented. So this brand is not on the Vero list. There is a list that you can look at that has all of the brands that participate in the Vero program with eBay, and this brand is not on it. So 
there was no preventative action that I could have taken to keep this from happening. I couldn't have searched the Vero list for every single brand before I listed on eBay. And there is nothing that I could have done. And that's probably the most frustrating thing. And I did express that to the eBay representative. I had told him, you know, what's the most frustrating part about this is that I now have a Vero strike on my account and there was nothing I could have done to prevent it because this brand isn't even on the list. And I, uh, I of course, couldn't see the rep because it was over the phone, but I could imagine him just shrugging his shoulders because, you know, he just restated again, I'm sorry, but the only thing that we can do is remove the listing. We cannot keep it up after the brand complains. We have to take it down even if they're not on the list. So... All of this is to say, just pay attention. Uh, even if you are cross-referencing the Vero list before listing some items on eBay, it can still happen. You can still get a Vero strike. You can still have your listing pulled, but you can reach out to eBay and get the contact information for the brand. So I guess this entire story is just to let you know that you do have something that you can do. You can fight back. If you bought an item from a liquidation company and you have an invoice, you can 100% contact eBay to get the contact information for the person that filed the complaint, reach out to them, send them your documentation and ask to have the uh, asked to have permission to sell the item and to have the complaint retracted. You can absolutely do that. But this is just one of the super frustrating things about selling these kind of items is that you have to worry about this happening in, in some certain circumstances. Uh, something else that was really frustrating to me was I looked up this item and there were several listings that are available for sale on eBay. And that was something else that I communicated to the eBay rep. I asked him, I said, why is my listing down? But over a hundred other people have their listings still up and they're all using stock photos. You know, I know you probably can't tell from this little picture here, but that is an actual photo of the box of the hair straightener. Like it's not a stock photo. I didn't use any stock photos. And there was other people that had active listings that were using stock photos. And I expressed that to the eBay representative. I said, you know, I got hit with a counterfeit claim but these people are using stock photos and theirs is available for sale. What the hell is that about, you know? And the eBay rep just simply expressed to me that they might have already had complaints filed against them, but there's just a backlog and eBay hasn't gone through to remove the listings yet, but I'm but he was sure that they would get there. So this is just one of the many frustrating things about being a reseller, but know that you can take action. You don't have to just set aside and go, oh, well, they took down my listing. I guess that means I can never sell it again. Hell no. I'm like, hey, give me the contact information because I know that I'm going to get more of these items in the future and I want to be able to sell them. So I plan to contact the brand. This is what I was telling him. I plan to contact the brand so that I can get permission to sell it and get this strike removed. And he was able to send me all of the contact information that I needed so that I could do what I needed to do. So if this happens to you, don't just sit back and take it. Reach out to eBay and see what you can do. Get contact information, write letters, send invoices, handle your business because you do have a right to sell this item, especially when you know that it's not counterfeit. That's probably the most frustrating thing because I know it's not counterfeit. It is real, real, real. So anyways... That is my last thought of this video. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me while I ranted and raved, but that entire Vero situation was just so incredibly frustrating to me because it just, I hate being penalized when you don't do anything wrong. You know what I mean? I can't be the only one. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and videos like it, please give it a thumbs up. That way I know. Questions or comments, leave down in the comments below. Don't forget to check the video description. I will put some useful information in there. And please do remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more content. And I'll see you guys with my next video. Bye-bye.